It's getting closer to midnight. Hi, welcome back to IVEX Running. My name is Veronica and I'll be your coach again this week. So today we are going to continue with our beginner couch to 5K series. So we're in week four. Remember, we're going to be doing this workout three times this week. So let's get started with our warm-up. We're going to start just at a walking pace here. I'm going to get that timer started here. Three, two, one. Here we go. So at that walking pace, I want you anywhere from a 2.5 to a 4. Something that feels a little brisk, not too fast, but not just like you're going for a stroll, right? We're getting ready for this run. Throughout the workout, you'll see over here on my right, all the different paces, all the different speeds that I'm saying, all the intervals. I'll be saying it for you as well, but in case you miss it, feel free to always check that over there. So today's workout, we are going for a steady run. Let's make sure your shoelaces are tied, because as always, once we get started, we're not stopping. We're gonna go, 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 all the way to the end. So today's workout, right? Steady run. I want you to find a pace in these workouts, in these intervals that you can hold for the whole duration. So we are starting to increase the time of those intervals. So this week we have four runs, all right? Four of your hard runs, we're going three minutes to five minutes, back to three minutes and five minutes. Now I don't want you to freak out. I want you to get excited for that, right? Because now you get to really test yourself and challenge yourself. You've been working hard for three weeks You've been building up that endurance. You've been building up your run. You've been finding your running form. You've been learning how to breathe, and you're putting it all together now. That's really, really awesome and a great accomplishment to this point. So now I want to take it one step further. All right? Take a deep breath in. Right? As always, let's breathe in that positively. Let's get ourselves pumped up and excited, and let's start exhaling out that doubt that's slowly creeping in your mind right now. Exhale it out. Get it out. Push it out of your mind. All right, today's workout, right? This is a little bit longer for our period of time. So I want you to find a way to be consistent with your runs, right? We're keeping ourselves still at that really steady pace that we've been sticking with, but maybe you've noticed that you can go towards the higher end, or maybe now you can go towards the middle end, or maybe you're feeling good on that lower end, and because we're increasing that duration, that's where you wanna stay. That's fantastic, right? Because what you're doing is learning about your body. You're becoming more in running self and that's the most important key to training we have to listen to our bodies all right so we got a little under three minutes left here of this walk if you feel good i want you to pick up that speed just a little bit more and let's really start moving those arms pumping those arms a bit right i don't want to be holding on to these handlebars because when we're outdoors we don't have those right so let's start pumping those arms get that body really warmed up and ready to go here Excellent. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Let's collect ourselves, bring ourselves together. Start engaging that core a little bit, bring that belly button in, right? Everything that we do, any exercise, any running, it all centers right here in the center of your body, right? It all starts with our core. Our core can really help control our movements. It can help us feel stronger. So I want you to start thinking about that here. So I want you to start off, put your hands on your belly. Take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, I want you to feel your ribs contract. Feel that belly tighten up. That's what it needs to engage that core. All right, right there. That's what I want during these runs. Okay, awesome. Let's keep those arms moving. Good. We got about a minute and a half, and then we're gonna go into that first run. So like I said, we're increasing that duration. We're increasing that time, right? Because this is an endurance run, right? We're trying to build up that stamina for how long we can start going. So that first one is going to be three minutes, all right? And that speed is anywhere from 4.5 to 6.5. So if you think back to last week, that was the same um, the same speed that we gave you for last time, right? So remember, last week I talked to you about RPE, learning what your body feels and where you can push yourself. You're gonna notice, right? Workout to workout, week to week, you can really start pushing that time and speeding up your runs. So that's what I want you to think about today. Find a way to be consistent through all those runs, even though the times are increasing and decreasing. All right, we got a little bit under 45 seconds left, so if you need a sip of water, I want you to grab that sip now and get yourself ready to go. Three minutes is coming up. First run. One more nice big deep breath in. Slow exhale. Here we go. 
look on your treadmill. Make sure you are aware of where your incline is, where your speed is. If you want to play with that incline, I would go anywhere from a 0.5 to a 1.0. It just kind of simulates more of that outdoor running feeling versus running on a really flat treadmill. So you're going to hit that incline, hit it now because we're going to go into that first run. Four and a half to six and a half speed here. Three, two, one, let's go. Three minutes. Excellent. And we talked a bit about our cadence, right? Your rhythm, your running form. That's what I want you to start feeling right away. I want you to get right into that, feeling it from the speed, right? Of course, as speed changes, your rhythm's gonna change a little bit. But our goal today is to find that consistent run, that steady run. So that's where we are right here. Good. You're already 30 seconds in. See how quick it goes? Awesome. Get out of your head right now, right? And I want you to think as you're running right now, how are you feeling? You feel relaxed? Good. You feel really nervous? Take a couple more big deep breaths in. Keep all of that self out, out, and bring in all of that I can do this mentality. Because I want you to feel invigorated. I want you to feel strong. I want you to feel confident when you run. That's what I want you to feel every time you step out on the treadmill, every time you lace up your shoes and go for your run, I want you to feel confident and strong. Good. And let's recheck our running form, right? Shoulders are dropped, chest is proud. You might have that slight lean forward, swinging those arms from the shoulders, but driving those elbows back. Making sure our arms are going forward and back, not crisscrossing, right? We want all of our momentum forward. Good. How is your foot placement down on the ground? Are you slapping or are you pushing through the treadmill and feeling your body propel forward? Good. Think about that heel recovery, that heel coming up and around. We're not just shuffling those feet. Pick your feet up. Good. This is great. How are you feeling? Strong? Awesome. We got one more minute here of that first run. Excellent, come on. Sometimes we almost need to tune out. Forget about everything going on around you. Just feel it with your body. Think about something else. Think about those goals. That's always something that's super motivating. Good. You guys are doing so great on this first one. Find that confidence. 30 seconds here. Keep this steady pace. I don't want you to touch that feet. We're not dropping yet. That recovery is coming. You got 20 seconds to go. There we go. Come on. All the way to the finish here. Your last 10 seconds of your first run. And then bring it down to that recovery. Five, four, three, two, one. One, bring it down to 2.5 to four, anywhere in that recovery walk where you can feel like that heart rate is still up. Good, we wanna control our breathing a little bit, right? But we wanna make sure we're still working so arms are pumping. We don't need to hold on to the sides. Bring that core in and keep it moving. You're here for a minute and a half, okay? And then we're picking it up right back to that same interval, right? That's not changing. What I'm changing in this workout is the duration, is that time. So I want you to find your steady run. I want you to be consistent with those runs throughout the full five minutes. All right, if you need a sip of water, grab that now. If you need to wipe that sweat off the face, do it. I love that you're sweating already. Good. Think about how you're feeling. We got three more. Look at that. This workout's gonna go quick, I promise. So I really want you to take advantage of every interval that we do here. Think about how you felt last week versus how you feel this week. Right? Whether this is the first time you're doing this workout this week, the second or the third, I want you to keep building every time you work out with us. Here we go. You got 15 seconds, and then we're hitting that second interval. Speed stays the same. Anywhere between 4.5 and 6.5. Right? We're just increasing that time here. Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Hit that speed. Hit that speed. Let's bring it up. Five minutes. 
Now, that might seem like a long time. Pretty soon, five minutes is gonna feel like cake to you. So what I want you to think about the most during this first five minute interval here is your form and not just what everything should be doing, right? Because there's so many different things that we can focus on, right? But it's a great opportunity when we run a little bit slower versus doing sprints, right? Running a little bit slower and running longer to really strengthen our running form. So a lot of times, right, we, we gain bad habits from running. And then those bad habits feel easier than running correctly. Why? Because we strengthen the muscles to give us bad habits. So now you have to retrain your body to run correctly. And because those muscles aren't as strong, we have to think about it a little bit more. We have to focus on it a little bit more. So the more you think and focus now, the more automatic it's going to come later because those muscles have strengthened. And that pattern is there without you focusing on it. So take this opportunity now to think about it. Everything, the arms, the core, the lower body, your head, how you're hitting the ground, your cadence, your rhythm, your cycle, everything. Bring it all together here. This is your time to practice. Good. You guys are doing so well. This is that five minute run, right? Trying to find a way to be consistent today. Five minutes is gonna make you consistent. Good. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Keep the air flowing. I know people think running's easy. I know it's not easy. I know there's so much going through your head. But sometimes you just need to calm the noise down. Good. Got three more minutes here. Good. I want you to keep building with these workouts, right? If this is your second or third time this week doing it, I want you to keep building. Keep pushing your speed a little bit more each time you do this workout. Because I want you to build up, not regress. I don't want you to build down, right? Keep looking forward. Look at how far you've come already. This is week four. That's amazing. Maybe this is the first time you're doing this week's workout, second or third time, whatever it is. You've built how many workouts so far compared to what you did before you started running with Ibex. Think about that. Good. Consistent, steady, rhythmic run. You'll start to kind of hear it in the ground. Everyone has their own pattern, which is cool. We're all unique runners. Good. That's it. That's what I want you to feel. Keep practicing that form. Keep focusing on it here. So the first half we think about it, second half of the workout, I want you to just go. Here we go, we got a minute and a half to go. Come on. Breathe. This increase in duration is a challenge in itself, right? But that increase in duration is what's gonna help you run this 5K. We have to push it just a little bit more each week. So then throughout each week, every time you do it, what you can control is pushing that speed is building up your stamina more. Here we go, under a minute here. Here we go, runners. Find that pace that you can hold. This is your pace. Stick with it then. You wanna be able to breathe. You wanna feel like you can move like this for a while. Shouldn't be at that level 10 where we feel like we're about to fall over and you're watching those seconds go down on the timer. I don't want that. I want where you feel comfortable not be easy, comfortable, but where you feel good. Good, under 30, come on. That's awesome. You got a nice long recovery coming up, I promise. Enough where you can really get a good drink of water. Here we go, 15. Breathe all the way to the finish. I don't want you to touch that speed yet. Stay with me here, you got five, four, three, two, one, there you go, take it down. Now remember, we're taking it down to a walk, but this isn't a stroll. 
You just ran hard. You ran long. I got that. I understand. I did it with you. But we want to keep that heart rate up. We want to keep our body moving. So find that speed. It should be faster than it was in our warm-up because every time we do an interval, we really are warming that body up, really getting it moving. You're making those muscles fire. You're pumping the blood more. So as we progress through a workout, we might feel some fatigue, but we're feeling really good, right? So you are halfway through this workout right now. You got two and a half minutes here of rest. Good chunk of time, right? Let's keep those arms pumping. Once you feel you caught your breath a little bit, I want you to tap that speed a couple times, okay? Bring it back up a bit. Preparing yourself for that next run. This next one, right? I'm bringing that time back down to three. Okay, it's gonna feel so short after five, right? But remember, we're still building, right? So even though that time's going down, finding that steady pace, finding that consistent run, that's not changing. Good. Excellent, here we go. Keep it moving and keep breathing. Halfway through, I'm telling you, these workouts, they go quick. So we want to take advantage. So I know sometimes when we increase that speed a little bit, we get nervous to really hit that plus line. Why? Because we have this what if in our head all the time. Right? A what if I fail, Ronco? What if I have to hit that stop button because I can't breathe anymore? But what if you succeed? What if you do it? What if you keep moving and you get better and better? I don't know the future. No one does, right? So those what ifs, what if that doesn't even happen? What if it does happen? We have no idea. So don't play the what if game in your head. Because that leads you nowhere. All that does is make you cycle through your head instead of making those feet cycle. Good, we got 30 seconds here. We're gonna go into that three minute run. So I want you to push the what ifs in your head. I want you to succeed here. I want you to show yourself how strong you are, how strong you've gotten already. So you're gonna hit that 4.5 to 6.5. Where's your steady run today? Today, where are you? We got 10 seconds here. Let's go. I'm pumped, you pumped? Good, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hit that speed, let's go. Let's go, this is your time, right? What's the reason that you decided to join this series with us? What's the reason you decided to lace up those shoes today and come here and do a workout? Anyone can go out there and just go for a run. Not everyone has the motivation to do these kind of workouts, but you do, right? So that's why I don't want to play the what if game. But we could play that all day. There's so many things that we could say what if, blah, blah, blah. But all I want you to think in your head is I will succeed. I will fight through this three minute rep. I will keep moving. I will do this workout again this week. And I will be better at it the next time. Right? That's what's so great. This fear of failure sometimes overcomes us so much that we forget to just live. We forget to just go for it. Because you know what failure really does? It teaches us. It helps us grow. That's what we're here for, right? To help ourselves grow. So there's no need to be scared. I just want you to drive forward with me. That's it. That's the mentality I want. That's the smile I want. That's the determination on your face. Let's find that form and that rhythm here. Now you're ready. I love it. Here we go. You're halfway. You got a minute and a half to go. This is interval number three. Rep number three. We are building, right? Building ourselves up, not breaking ourselves down. And breathe. Pull yourself together. And feel that rhythm. Running can do so much for us. It's not just for health and fitness physically, but also the mind, the emotional being. It's such a great thing. And I'm so excited that you're doing this with us. Under a minute here. Good. Let's keep building up. Week four, think about that, week four. Here we go. Just about 30 seconds left of this run. And then we come back down for that recovery. 
How are you feeling? I asked you in the beginning. I'm asking you now. Do you feel invigorated yet? Do you feel strong? Do you feel ready to go like you can totally take on this next run? That's what I'm looking for. 15 seconds here. Come on, runners. There we go. That recovery is coming here. In five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Back to that walk here. Keep that brisk walk, right? Keep it moving. Pump those arms. We're not here to hold on. Bring that speed up just a little bit. All right, remember we're in that 2.5 to 4 rate. Don't be scared of 4. Right? We're not scared anymore. We already talked about that. There's nothing to be scared of. We should be more scared. I'm not trying. There we go. You got one more run. Think about that. Start of this workout. We're like, oh. We're running steady, we're increasing that duration. Oh boy, Veronica, but now look at you already at the end. Of whether it's the first time, second time, or third time you're doing this. All right, this last five minute run. Let's get pumped about it. Everything we talked about today, everything we worked towards today, everything you've worked, all those workouts leading up is leading you to this moment here. Five minutes for that finish. All right, we got 30 seconds, and then you're hitting it. Five minutes and you're done. All right, no need to hold on to any energy. No need to hold on to anything but that pace. Hold on to your pace. Find that steady run. Find your rhythm. Think about your form. Let's pull it all together here for this last five minute run. I want you to just go. Get out of your head. We got 10 seconds here. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. And we're going back to 4.5 to 6.5, wherever in there. Feels good for you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hit it. Let's go. Five minutes. Don't think of that as, oh man, that's a long period of time. Think of it instead as, oh, I'm going to run for five minutes. I'm going to find my rhythm for five minutes. I'm going to find that speed for five minutes. I'm going to find my endurance here for five minutes. We got to keep building. We got to keep going forward with that time, with your pace. This is about you right now. So collect yourself together. Pull back everything we talked about today. Your running form. About starting and not stopping. Keeping it going. Finding a way to feel consistent. Right? Those what ifs. We're pushing them out of our head. Because there's something that we'll never know. Not being scared anymore. Of just letting it all come together for you. Good. We should be feeling really good right now because we're at the end of this workout. It's all in right now. We're building each workout each week. Now, if this is the third time you're doing this workout, I want you to hit that speed a little bit. All right? Because this is that last run. This is the last time you're doing it. So let's go. If this is your second or third time, I want you to feel this run. I want you to feel it all the way to the end. Think about that running mechanics here. What's the upper body doing? Drop those shoulders. If fatigue is setting in, think about the form more. If you're feeling good, tune in to that motivation. Tune in to your goal. Here we go. Hear it. Do you hear your rhythm? Don't listen to my rhythm. Listen to yours. Good. We got three more minutes here. I'm with you, right? Every step, every run, we're here together. We're gonna make it there. Bring yourself together. God, I'm so proud of you. Cause you're not stopping. You just keep going. Keep chugging along here. Good. I don't even want you to look at all the timing and the numbers over here. I don't want you to look on your treadmill at the timers. I want you to just look straight ahead. Whether that's at me, if you're looking past me, I want it to be about you right now for that finish. Because every run that you do, everything that you complete, every time you hit that plus button, it's about you right here because you are in full control of this. So when you're done, I don't want you to be like, Thanks, Veronica, I finished the workout. I want you to be like, no, I finished the workout. I did this workout. Be proud. 
two minutes, come on. There we go. What's that speed at? I want you to take note of it, right? So that the next time you do this workout, you know where you were at last time, and you can gauge and keep building, right? Because that's the goal is to keep building. Each time. There it is. Here we go. We're getting there. You're almost at a minute left. I'm gonna ask you this question one more time. How are you feeling? Are you feeling that invigorating? Are you feeling that strength? Are you feeling powerful? Are you feeling confident? Good. Sometimes third time's charm. One minute here. Run with that feeling. Just keep rolling with it. Keep stepping into each run here and taking advantage of every opportunity that we get together. That countdown is coming. I know you guys are counting in your head right now. Don't count it. Just run with me. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Come on, we got 30 seconds. 30 seconds, let's go. Make this finish about you here. Good, you got 20 seconds. And then you finished this workout. There you go. Come on, stay with me for the final 10. You can do it, don't hit that speed yet. Five, four, Three, two, one. Go ahead, take it off. Take it off. Keep that speed up a little bit, though. Keep it at that recovery run a little bit. Recovery walk. A little bit. We don't have to run. You finish your running. Nice job. But keep it here. We're going to be here for two minutes for this finish because that was one of our harder runs. Longer runs. So we want to make sure that we walk this together and bring down our breathing. Bring down that heart rate together here. Keep those arms moving. Forget about these handlebars. They don't exist. Don't touch those. All right, stay upright. Keep that core tight. You need some water, grab some water. <laughs> You're sweating a bit like me. Feel free to grab your towel, wipe that off. We're here. And keep taking those nice deep breaths in. And do that nose slowly out the mouth. Awesome job. So we're in week four, right? That's phenomenal. I'm so proud of you guys for sticking with it for four weeks. And that workout, this was your first time, you know you're doing it a couple more times, right? So like I said on that last run, I want you to take note of the speed that you were at. Because I want you to match that speed. Or maybe even if you just hit plus one faster, each time you do this workout, that's building, right? That's improving. So we always want to be focused on what we're doing. Don't just run mindlessly. Good. Feel free to take that speed down a little bit more here. You feeling good? I know we feel the same. About Excellent, you got 30 more seconds here with me. Like Take advantage. Time to Keep get breathing. Out of this circle. Awesome. Yeah, we both carry a scar. Congratulations, runners. You made it week four. I'm proud of you guys for fighting through this. I know that you're feeling invigorated, strong, powerful, confident. I know all those feelings are coming in. Let that keep flowing every time you run with us. And I will see you next time on Ibex Running. Awesome job. You're three, two, one. Take it on off. See you guys next time.